What's going on guys? Today we're going to have a very deep discussion about money and money management. Money management, the acquisition, well, first of all, there's income and there's cash, right? There's income and cash, which you already have. You more than likely have a job or some type of skill set that gets you money. And one of the things that I consistently see is people want to make a lot of money so they don't have to worry about money management. And have you ever seen ESPN's 30 for 30? They did a show talking about broke, how these athletes who had $100 million contracts ended up broke because of lack of money management. I say this all the time, even millionaires need budgets. And one of the things, and this is the main reason that the money management course is free. Everyone needs money management guidance. And if you are someone with bad credit, I'm about to talk about some stuff here, and you want to get into a business, more than likely, your money management style is going to be a barrier to that business being as successful as it could be. And one of the things that's gonna happen because I see tons and tons of videos, how to get a 20, a $30,000 credit card or a line of credit with bad credit. I consistently see this. There are people out there who do not want to clean up their money management systems and they wanna go out get more credit, do whatever they wanna do, and more than likely because their money management style is a habit, they're pretty much going to bankrupt on these new things. And this is a habit. Years and years and years ago, I bought a storage unit that was owned by this guy who was running the restaurant. And there was tons and tons of files, filing cabinet with all his pay stubs and stuff. The restaurant was making money but because of his bad money management habits he was driving like a mercedes his mistress was driving the mercedes i think the wife was driving the range rover none of these cars were paid off they all had payments and as i just dived into it his lifestyle just killed the restaurant once again the restaurant was making money but his lifestyle <clears throat> his living expenses were significantly higher than the money that the restaurant was making. So he literally killed the restaurant because he had bad money management habits. And this is one of the things that I'm going to, you know, consistently see, because here's the thing. You can have a hundred million dollar contract. And if you do not do the things correctly, you can end up broke. There is a study of the number of lottery winners out there who have ended up broke. Lottery winners. These people had won lotteries. And one of the things that happened is because they thought they had an infinite amount of money. There's infinite and there's finite. And even if you win $30 million after taxes, which is a lot of money, guess what? It's a finite sum of money which means as you spend, as you spend, as you spend, it disappears, it disappears. And these people, like this one guy who actually died, I think he won $27 million. He spent $17 million the first year. $17 million the first year. And here's one of the reasons that I put the money management course as a free product. One of the things that you have to understand you have to manage the money that you already have coming in so you can be set up to manage more money because here's the thing and this is something that i have believed all of my life you have cash money on you you have available credit and you have money in the bank if you have those three things that's going to provide a pathway for more money to come in your life because money attracts money but if you're just broke, and I know what it's like to be broke, I know what it's like to not have any cash, not have any credit, not have access to anything. It's a terrible life. 
It's a terrible, terrible life. I remember years ago, I had to borrow $20 from this dude to put gas in my car so I can get to work so I can get a paycheck. And that's how broke I was. And I didn't understand how dangerous it was to live like that. I had no understanding, no clue to how difficult it was to live life like that. I was living it and I was experiencing it, but only until I got far, far away from that life and I was able to look back at it, I was like, man, that was just really, really stupid. That was really, really dangerous. Um, and there are so many people who need money management tactics. You know, like right now, at the moment, we don't have a credit crunch. And if things continue to get bad or worse, we may ultimately come across a credit crunch. And what a lot of people are doing are going to rely on their credit cards for emergency spending versus actually having cash, a long-term savings account, a short-term savings account, and a family operating account. They're going to be in a position where they're going to try to use these credit cards and they're not going to work. They're just simply not going to work. And once again, you should have good credit. You should have credit available. You should have cash. You should, you should have all that. I'm not saying you shouldn't have it, but one of the things I have learned is that when you're dependent upon something and you don't have any other reserves, that's one of the most dangerous places to be in society. That is one of the roughest, worst places to be. And one of the things that you have to understand and you have to acknowledge is the pathway to productivity, the pathway to getting bigger, better and stronger, and the work that will be involved for you to improve your net worth, your network and your life. And it, it, it just comes back to money management. And th this is something that I have seen up close and personal. When I had people who were late on their rent, who didn't want to bring the car back, either I had to threaten them or I had to call the police, I would get the car back and invariably the car would be damaged. I got one car back, had to replace the windshield, had to replace the shift knob, the car was filthy. And I, I just looked back at that experience and I saw it over and over and over again. The people with the worst money management habits were the people who were the dirtiest. And I think there, there's a two part series where if you're a dirty, sloppy person, chances of you having bad money management protocols are going to be pretty high. They're going to be really, really high. And I've saw it up. Like, I got this BMW X5 back literally the car was completely trashed and the car was on fumes i actually started up the car and i said you had two miles so i instantly went to the gas station barely made it to the gas station so what you will see with people with bad money management habits is that typically they're going to have trashy personal habits and I have seen this with a few friends who've had rental properties where they had the nastiest renter. These people were nasty. I have a friend and she had this one person. She literally had to leave the windows open to let the house air out because whoever lived there was so nasty. And she actually had to evict this person and get all his stuff out. And there, there's a strong correlation between not being organized, not being clean, not being well maintained and having bad money habits because there are so many people who just want to throw it in the bag. I don't care what the price is, just throw it in the bag. And unless you are really, really, I'm talking really rich, that's just bad policy. That's just really, really bad policy. So one of the things that you will see and one of the things that you will observe is everyone needs money management skills and years and years ago because i started to develop money management skills that is the thing that saved me when i got laid off because i had 
I don't even have a big emergency fund. I only had like four thousand dollars, and that four thousand dollars made all of the difference between where I was getting laid off, and I was out of work maybe six weeks, maybe six weeks, and I was able to pay my bills and live my life, even though I wasn't working because I had some money set aside. So I know from personal experience that having a long-term emergency fund can become critical. It can become quite necessary as you go along and you build out your life as you do things. And once again, there are many of you who want to start businesses. And I'm going to say this with the most heartfelt emotion that I can muster. Please straighten up your money management habits now. Yes, you can start a business. Business could be successful, but if you have bad money management habits, those bad money management systems can literally destroy your business before you even get started. I mean, because here's the thing, there, there's money, and then there's some money, and then there's no money. And once you get to a position where you do not understand the importance of managing your money well, the importance of having an emergency fund, the importance of having health insurance, the importance of having life insurance. If you don't understand that stuff and it happens to you, you're going to see a really dangerous situation that's going to occur because right now we have a lot of recessionary headwinds that are blowing. And you know, I honestly don't know if we're gonna have a recession this year it looks like it. It looks like we're heading toward a recession. There's a lot of pricing issues, the stimulization, the all of the money that the Fed had threw in the economy is pretty much tapped out. And at this point, you're going to see people with bad money management habits really, really suffer, really, really suffer. It's going to be bad. It's going to be really, really bad. So that's why I created the money management course. Uh, there's like close to 2,000 students in there and I've had a lot of good reviews. I have people say, man, this course is worth like 500 bucks. This is a great course. It's free. It's free to teach you the things that you need to know about setting up money and about how to deal with money. And now it's May. And we got to this before I actually because I gave myself a month to get these things done. And now we're doing the Corporate Citizen Playbook, which is going to be a big course. It's gonna be a lot of stuff in that course. And it's gonna teach you how to start a business from the structural organization. We're gonna talk about trust, holding companies, LLCs. We're gonna talk about C corporations. We're gonna talk about a lot of things. But more importantly, and this is why this course is going to be a big course, it's going to be long, is we're going to go from the organization, the setup, to launching your business, to picking your business, to a lot of different things that I've never talked about before. So if you want to be part of this, this is one of the things I'm doing. Right now, I actually have one thing. Uh, I'm probably going to do this tomorrow, but you can go ahead and get in the money management course right now pay a one-time fee or get on the monthly payment plan. And while I'm building out this course, which starts tomorrow, you can go ahead and get in this course because this, this is gonna be lengthy because right now I'm thinking of the corporate citizen chats, uh, the, the conversations I wanna have you guys to adjust and to set your mindset to where it needs to be for you to be successful in the future. So the link is below in the comment section and the link is below in the description section where you can get in this course and you can start to learn the things that you need to win. Now, one of the things I'm doing that's very different because I used to like pre-sell courses and just fill out the, the paperwork and I would get to the, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm gonna work on this course until it's done and then I'm gonna start working on the next course. Uh, there's a system. The productivity course, the system that I'm using to create this, this content, this training, you will also get that. You will get the productivity course and you will get 
the corporate citizen playbook. You'll get both of those things. And that's one of the things that's why I feel that you should go ahead and get in now so you can go through the productivity course, get that in your system, do the things you need to do, which will set you up for the corporate citizen playbook. So the link's below, go ahead and get into it. And while I'm building this out, the price is gonna be definitely cheaper than when I was uh, going. So go ahead and get into this. And while I'm building this out and having a lot of conversations and the setup, we're gonna do a lot of things that are gonna be really beneficial, beneficial and helpful to you. So it's in the description, it's in the first comment. Go ahead and get in that. And that was, my name is Glendon Cameron, and I will see you guys in the next video.